The culprits behind yesterday's tragic shooting at a Christmas party in San Bernardino have been identified as devout Muslim Saeed Farouk and his wife Tashfeen Malik. But who did the left rush to blame within minutes, before we knew anything about the shooters, before the bodies were even cold? White people, conservatives, Donald Trump supporters, the NRA, gun owners, pro-lifers, and all men in general. If the mainstream media won't call it terrorism, we will. End white terror! Maybe we should put white conservative men in concentration camps to protect ourselves. We can eliminate mass shootings today. Make it illegal for white men ages 15 to 65 to own guns. Yo, GOP, kinda hard to talk about keeping people safe when your peeps are shooting up America. Another day, another mass shooting perpetrated by white men in America. And they're worried about Syrians. White terrorism exists. Digest it. So when are we going to start classifying white men as terrorists? These are the same people who lectured us about not blaming all Muslims for the Paris massacre. And isn't it amazing how the left suddenly lost all interest in the story when it emerged that the shooters were Muslim? The maniacal call to revoke the Second Amendment suddenly disappeared. Why is the left's appetite for gun control almost entirely dependent on the race or religion of the shooter? The feverish urge to label it an act of terrorism suddenly disappeared. Now they're calling it workplace violence despite the fact that the shooters were extremely well prepared, had pipe bombs, assault rifles, wore body armour and GoPro cameras, and left booby traps at their apartment. But this was just an impromptu argument that got out of hand. Okay, Farouk just happened to have tactical gear and explosives lying around at home after his little holiday to Saudi Arabia. And now we learn that numerous neighbours refused to report the couple's suspicious activity before the attack for fear of being labelled racist. Once again, just as with the Bryce Williams shooting, political correctness is now so virulent it's costing people's lives. But hey, maybe the shooters were offended by the Christmas party. Maybe the victims are to blame for provoking the killers. That's the argument leftists made after the Charlie Hebdo massacre. So why not now? Listen, it's instructive to analyse whether or not the violent and intolerant religion of Islam I'm triggered. had anything to do with Saeed Farouk's rampage. It's instructive to note that Ishmael Brinsley's desire to carry out a Black Lives Matter revenge attack led to the murder of two NYPD cops. It's instructive to understand the unhinged and radical beliefs that led Dylan Roof to massacre nine black churchgoers. What's completely worthless is to blame an entire race for a tragedy within minutes before you even know anything about what happened, simply to bolster your political agenda and virtue signal to all your trendy progressive friends on Twitter. And then abandon that entire narrative and pretend nothing happened when reality doesn't conform to your bias. So when the next mass shooting happens, whether the culprit is black, white or Arab, let's not use it to castigate an entire race. Let's not immediately hijack the tragedy before the bodies are cold to advance our political agenda. Let's not attack people simply for offering their prayers to the victims. Let's wait until the facts are known before making complete fools out of ourselves.